Now on BBC News, the latest business news from across the globe. Business Today. Desperately seeking growth today, we find out how the UK economy performed in the second quarter with economists keeping expectations in check. The end of the line. Could a pay dispute that led to over two years of disruptive rail strikes in the UK be resolved? It's results day for so many students across the country. We look at an AI-powered learning tool for schools that's become a booming business in Norway. And how to avoid the dreaded commute. What is the future of getting to and from work? We find out. If you've just joined us, it's lovely to have you on board. This is Business Today and I'm Sally Bundock. And we begin in the UK where the latest economic growth figures for the second quarter of this year are expected shortly. And economists are not overexcited. With most predicting, the UK saw a smidgen of growth around 0.7% in the months of April to June. But it is growth. Let's be uh, clear on that. In fact, the biggest expansion in over two years, if that is the case, as Mark Ashdown reports. Football didn't quite make it home again, but the Euros certainly gave the UK's June GDP figure 